Okay, today we're going to talk about angles. We have already discussed this a little bit. I think on some of your study islands or maybe your exact past, some of you have asked, oh, it was a quiz. It was a home day quiz. And some of you had asked about angles. Because we talked, I think one of them was triangles. What are the measures of your triangles? Now, you all know what this angle is. What is this angle? 90 degrees. It is a 90 degree angle. Now, think about it is, it is the perfect angle. It's what they call it, the perfect angle. Now, how do you make angles? How are angles made? Well, are they lines? It's formed by two rays. It is two rays that share a point. Two rays share a point. Two rays share a point. So, now, you have the 90 degree angle, guess what angle that is? Straight angle. It's a straight angle. It equals 180. And it is the straight angle. We called this the right angle, y'all knew that I just didn't write it up there. You don't look too right. That is cute. Well, what is it a cute? What would it be a cute? That's better than cute. Uh, it's, I forgot what degrees it is. Meaning what? The one under the angles. That one? That one's more two. That's what? Well, I thought that was more of a rock, but what are you thinking? Oh, I know. Okay. Uh, obtuse is more than 91 degrees, and acute is less than 89 degrees. So, last night I went and held my cousin's baby, and it was so cute. It is so cute. Would I say that baby was cute if that baby weighed over 90 pounds? No. So baby's a week old. Would that baby be so cute if it was 90 pounds and I couldn't pick it up? My older... I don't know why that Okay. So babies are cute because they're so little. So the acute angle is, is a little angle. The little, the little, little angle say, oh, they're so cute, they're so little. Do you need a pencil? Mm -hmm. You ain't wrote the first thing down, buddy. There you go, everybody you have, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is acute. And acute angles, they measure 1 to 89, below, below 90. Yes, sir. Um, one thing that I've been wondering about for a little while, but I've managed to wait until we got to angles to ask. If an angle is drawn like, uh, well, basically, if a 
it's drawn backwards and it's still an acute angle, would it be an obtuse angle or would it still be an acute angle? You would still measure the angle. You're talking about Pac-Man, kind of. That makes sense. Uh, more like this. It doesn't matter how they are. You're going to see that today on, in your, on your lesson. Okay. So if you have the uh, cute ones and you got the straight ones and you got the right one, then you're going to have the ones that are kind of like, I wore my favorite shirt for this today. Big. The big ones. Obtuse. They are obtuse. They are obtuse. Obtuse just sounds like a big word. Doesn't it? Well, because we're used to obese. Obtuse equals obese. It does. It is greater than 90 degrees. So therefore, it's 91 degrees. Oops. 91 degrees. To 179. It can't be 180 because 180 is a what? Straight angle. Straight. Now, do we know why? Oh, come on, I'll let y'all finish writing. So we're still writing. is an angle is formed when two rays share a point. Anybody know what that point is? You know mathematicians, they like to name everything. What's that point name? Inch point. No! No, that's when it's just one ray. Anybody know what that point is that matches them? Center point? No! It's called the vertex. The vertex. It is the vertex. That center point. Yes, sir. Why they not name it? Like, why couldn't they just call it the point? They didn't. Uh, they, it, needs a, it needs a name. Like the, the vertex. It is the vertex. The center point or the point they share is the vertex. And they're going to use that in all your angles today. They're going to say... What is the, ver where, um, put the vertex in your protractor, things of that sort. Okay, now, I can draw angles up here, and I can ask you, what kind of angle have I got? Okay, stand up. Stand up. Obtuse. Obtuse. That's right. It's obtuse. A cube. A cube. Now I can sit there. You think your homework's gonna be that easy? No. So what if I give you this? That sounds like a bird. If I give you a hundred degrees. What kind of angle do I have? Obtuse. It is obtuse. They're going to do that. They're going to give that to you. What if I give you... It's acute. 75 is below 90, so therefore that's an acute. Ten 
Grace. It's a cute one. What about zero? Wait, does zero degrees? Zero is not an angle. Zero That's degrees is right. Well, 180 is. Wouldn't that be zero? One. No. Because it's two rays. If you had zero degrees, the two rays would be laying on top of each other. So that's not even an angle. Okay, what if I give you this? Right. Mm. Are you right? Right. You're pretty right. That's right. Okay. Here's Skinner. 91 degrees. Just by one? Yes. yes. Folks, can people miss going into the military? Or can people miss fighting in a different like a boxing, they are, they are qualified by their weight. Could they miss that their division by one pound? Yes. You miss right by one, so it is a twos. Man, you're one pound overweight. You're obese. You're obese. Moo. Now, that's all wonderful. That is all fabulous. Congratulations. I can throw numbers at you, and you can tell me what kind of angle. It's going to get harder. But. But, yeah. yep. But it's going to get harder. We are to get harder too. Okay. Bush. Here we go. So if they tell me they want a 115 degree angle. Obtuse. I know that it's obtuse. I know it's obtuse. I need y'all to watch up here because I'm going to break out one of these new protractors. I say I am. Look there. I'm going to use a protractor. And we are going to draw that angle. Now, I need to already know by looking at the degrees what type of angle I've got. And you told me obtuse. That's your first starting place. Now, do you see that there's a straight line on your protractor? Mm -hmm. Guess what that's for? Wow. Straight lines. Yeah. So I'm going to lay it on my paper. I'm going to make a straight line. I'm going to make a ray. I know that's really hard for y'all to see because it's not real big, but the protractor, not very long. Now, I have got to make 115 degrees. Now, looking, I'm going to let you have your protractors, and then I'm going to give you just a second. I'm going to let y'all open them up, but I want y'all to wait and let's talk before you start trying to measure. Oh, here's what you need. Take one, pass it back. I do not care that you take these home. Place them in your book because, whoa, I'm sorry. There is no way, watch this. If you place these in your book, can you break this book? Can you bend it? No. 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 Is there any way that protractor is going to get broken in that book? No. No. Protect your protect protect your protect. Well, I mean, if you set it on fire, it on fire. but can it be broken? Do you break it that way? You break, you melt it. You don't break it. <coughs> Well, I mean, you can nuke it, but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, open it up. Get it out of the wrapper. I'm giving you one minute to get it out of the wrapper. Get your wrapper in the garbage. Not on my floor. This is a trial. Oh, my goodness. It's a beautiful floor. Did you find yours? Did you find your protractor? Uh, uh, this isn't mine. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's somewhere. Right? Page 410. Yeah. Let me get that out of there. <laughs> now, can you see it? And stay away? Okay, try. What do you notice about this protractor? It's clear. It has numbers on it. It has numbers on it. Look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. Do you know?
notice that they count right in the middle is 90 and then it goes 100, 110 on the top. Yeah. But underneath it, it says 80, 70, 60. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, I see that. Do you see that the numbers are duplicates? They duplicate, they go both directions. What do you think they do that for? Well, I, we're going to find, we're going to yeah, talk I about see. it. We're about to do it. Now, does anybody see the hole in the bottom of your protractor? Guess what? That's where your vertex is going to go. That's where your vertex is going to go. Say hello, home verte vertex home. Now, also, what else do you notice? It could be It could be, maybe. Guess what? It's a magnifier. What does it look like when I put two together? A circle. A circle. Because, how, does anybody know how many degrees a circle is all over around? 360. 360. So, guess what? Half of a circle is going to be? 180. It's a straight line. It's 180. Okay? So, now, lay your protractor down for just a minute, and I want you to watch what I'm doing. It's all about me for a minute. Now, I use the straight edge of my protractor. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. So I don't think he's going to be able to follow directions and hold it. Hold that for now. Good thing that you didn't give us rulers. Okay. Now, so looking at my protractor, you shouldn't be touching yours. I made a straight line ray on my board, right? Now, the hole that you all saw in the bottom of your protractor, I'm going to place it, and I'm going to place my vertex in it. Now, look at your protractor real quick. Do you see what runs through the hole? A line. A line. Guess what? I'm going to line that line onto my ray. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to put the, hole, the vertex in the hole, and I'm going to line up the ray. Now, I need 115. Well, here's 115, and here's 115. So I make these two dots. I don't know if you can see them, but I make these two dots. Why didn't I marked both of the 115s on here? Well, if I go to the first one, is that going to be an obtuse tri uh, angle? No, that's not going to be obtuse. So that one is not going to cut it. Would that be an obtuse tri uh, angle? So that's the one I'm going to lay my protractor down. Of course, it's harder on the board because it's erasing. And I'm going to make another ray. I want you to also try to make an angle using your protractor. First things, listen to me. First thing, make you a straight ray. Line your vertex up. Line your ray up on your line. Find your 115 on the curved arch of your protractor. Take it away and look at it and see which one it needs to go to. Now, can I tell you one more thing? Before you draw, some of you are going to have all over your pages, it's going to have marks all over the place. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Place it and mark it. Line your protractor up to it. And just draw you a short line. It doesn't have to take the whole length of the protractor. Okay, try that. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to come around and measure. Did you already draw a ray? What did I tell you? That you don't listen to me no more than that. The dog listens. Draw you a ray. Draw your straight line ray. Yeah, I heard that part. Okay, stop. You don't have to have a huge. It needs a vertex. Now, your protractor. 
You're going to line your vertex up to in the hole. And you're going to line these lines on the protractor to your ray. Now, what are you doing? No, no, no. Look, do you see this line? You see this line? I'm going to line them up on top of each other. So now I come up here and I find 115 and I find 115 because there's two of them. Now, when I move my protractor, is this, if I drew a line from here to here, is that going to give me an obtuse angle? Um, is that obtuse? No, it's a cube. Is that going to give me a obtuse angle? It is, because it's obtuse is big. Look, the obtuse, oh, I've erased it, I'm and you didn't write your note on it. What are you doing? It's just... I'm not supposed to tell, like, it's supposed to know that it's big and big. Yeah. How I told you, 115. I told you, 115. Really? That's why we marked it off here, and we marked it here, because there was two of them. See how the numbers are different on both? Okay. So that's why I moved it back and I looked at it. Would it go here or would it go to this one? This would make an acute angle. Anything less than a 90 degree angle. See, that would have made a 90 degree. Anything less than a 90 degree is acute. So that would have been less than 90. That would have been acute. So that ain't going to cut it. That is a two. Let's see. Have your protractor on it, so all I gotta do is look. First thing I do is what? What did I say? Y'all not listen. First thing, you have to draw a straight ray. Now what? Perfect 90 degree angle. Is that what you wanted? Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, you did 150. Okay. First thing you do. Draw a wave. Draw a wave. 
So amazing, you made it upside down. Y'all, so you went to 140. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. okay. So, what do you want? What, tell me what type of angle one, 115 mm -hmm. is. It's a two. So is this an obtuse angle? No, it's a cute angle. So that tells me that what did you do on the sheet? So you may want to you may want to one fifteen here, but there's still just one fifteen over here. So if I had gone to this one, would that have been an obtuse angle? Yeah. yeah. Let me see. I will take it. Love it. I didn't try to look at it. That's fine. And that's what I was saying. You don't have to draw it all the way to match your... You don't have to draw it all the way to the other one. All right, here. Yes. 115? Okay. Hey, draw you an angle for... 80. 80 Actually, let's not do 80 because let's do something. Let's do 20 degrees. Draw me a 20 degree angle. Now that you know how to use your protractor, <clears throat> then I want you to ask your neighbor to check you out. I'll check you out right now. Do we even have a neighbor? No, you tell me. What is 20 degrees? You have to decide before you ever pick your pencil up to draw anything.
Chit chat time either. 